This is not a tutorial about new NO40, and you find tons on the web uh, on that. But what I just did, I downloaded it via this Steinberg Download Manager. You give in the activation key and then you install it. And this is a MacBook M1. It's quite, yeah, is it old? I don't know, five years or so. And it's running seamlessly. It immediately opened. There's no hassles uh, uh, with this uh, PC here. So um, that was the first step. I, I thought, well, will it work? Uh, the download is about 1.42 gigs. So it didn't crash my very small hard disk here. Everything worked out fine and I opened. And the first thing I th thought is, whoa, this looks kind of like the same as New Endo 13. But uh, there are some things in there and let me try it. At first sight here, does it work? I put in something here and I topped. Okay, this is a test. And they say test, 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 that test. what I'm talking here uh, could be automatically... Um, volume down when um, I comment on something like a voiceover or something and then you you're looking I don't, don't like this uh, manual so you're looking for where do I find it and I found under project somewhere I found uh, what I was looking for it's called uh, adaptive background attenuation and uh, let me try if I understand it immediately so I got this voice I had here and I got this uh, drum track and it's called attenuation profile there are obviously some different ones uh, I don't care about all this uh, stuff here uh, but foreground signal okay foreground signal should be audio one and backgrounds uh, I don't know uh, let me let me check it so foreground is audio one and background signal should be, uh, I open it uh, here, this uh, hammer drums. And then I just say uh, apply volume automation and it's processing it with this M M1 processor. And there's something happened, yeah. Okay, this is a test. Test, test, test. Let's hear how it works. I can hear it immediately. Maybe I can tweak it more that it's faster or whatever. And I got this curve here, and I even can go in like uh, like before, uh, and and change it the way I want to. Then they they write you you can get go directly into an audio file, and they have this new tool that you can write directly into the audio file. Let me try that one. So I take this draw and uh, do like this and this and you see I can do that also so uh, this would be old school to put it down here when this is put uh, put up or something okay. this is a test. yeah uh, maybe it works kind of the same uh, what they also also got this this AI uh, if, if there's a dialogue and, and this video stuff uh, uh, that they write down the text uh, via an AI tool, they filter out the text and it's written there. This m will be very great for synchronization. The point of Nuendo 14 is it's a very maybe state-of-the-art industry standard tool for uh, game uh, design, sound design, because it's got this WWISE, WYS, uh, um bridge uh, that you can nearly in real time add uh, uh, sounds to uh, certain scenes. Uh, this is great and especially for a video, uh, uh, audio uh, within video. And what they got now is obviously uh, if I put in a new uh, track, um, they have 8K video, yes. and. Obviously, nothing really changed here, but uh, I see at audio track and blah, 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 blah. I don't don't see it immediately, but ah, it's it's down there. Oh, <laughs> at video track, there it is. And uh, I hope uh, if you go into the video um, specifications that you can do that. Uh, the next thing I always want to know when I do something new, do all my plugins work? And I checked uh, before a little bit 
And I found uh, even this UAD stuff, everything is working in here. For me, or maybe for you, most important, <clears throat> do waves work? Does universal audio work? Uh, let's get into Dynamics, the LA2 compressor. I just opened it. Okay, I, I'm not logged in. I have to re-log in for that one. <clears throat> But uh, it works. And the SSL stuff, uh, let me see. Uh, if it's also working, this is very important because I got the SSL controllers here. Uh, if I go into the EQ and have the 4K B, it, it's working, yes. Uh, and uh, this was very important for me. Uh, let's just check uh, if something new in here, blah, blah, blah. This looks like it ha has always been. Uh, there's a couple, most of these things uh, are behind these buttons here, like functions, then you find something new. But uh, uh, in the end, uh, there's not really something new. Project setup down here is quite important uh, where you can check uh, what it does and what it does not. Uh, the, it's got this ADR, ADM authoring that's different from Cubase 14, uh, 14 I'm pretty sure. And you got this extension. That was also important for me. Uh, if I go in, when I go in, uh, into this file here, uh, do the extensions work? Of course, uh, things like spectral layers by Steinberg, I open it, it works, okay. yes. Uh, but what about uh, ARA support of uh, Melodyne should also work. And uh, let's see if it works. And you see, even okay. with the M1, it's pretty, pretty uh, fast. Uh, okay, one of fe the features that's coming from Cubase 14 were these modulators. And there I made a mistake. I thought, well, le let's have a look down here on Steinberg. If you find these modulators, uh, it's got all these effects. You know this, and uh, there is an FX modulator. But I didn't find it there, uh, what they wrote on their website. So <clears throat> let me have a look above if I find it somewhere else. Okay, here I found it. It's on the project uh, where I found the other things like ADM authoring, adaptive background, attenuation, show, hide modulators. <laughs> Why do they do it like that? I don't know. Uh, it's like even like chord tracks and chord tracks, uh, whoever needs that. And I say show modulators and then I got an LFO here. And how does it work? On which? Ah, on hammer drums. It's, it's on this here. Okay. This is a test. Test, test, test. And has it got some, no, that's not the one. Sync to project. Ah, you have to go into in there. It's, it hasn't got uh, certain uh, presets or something like that. Uh, shape, note, what about shaper? Well, by the way, this, this is uh, just at first, uh, first look I'm having here. Uh, I bypass this one. Okay, this is a test. What about test, this? Test, test. Ah, here I hear, hear a, a certain effect. So this is also working and this is something new. Okay, just to mention at first sight, you don't find this pattern sequencer, uh, they say. Uh, well, the key editor is better now um, and you find the shimmer underwater auto filter within this Steinberg uh, insert or ascent effects. But pattern sequencer I didn't find. So uh, I just uh, put in a drum track, you say like this, uh, MIDI inputs, an event type, pattern event, I don't understand that at first sight, uh, add a track and then you have this here and uh, then you have these buttons and here you have something like that. Aha, uh -huh. so I can go into this button, say some kicks, kick one, kick two, Uh, and then I have this, and uh, pad FX, delay, reverb, FX. Uh, this uh, is quite interesting, but I didn't find the sequencer. Uh, so I thought maybe it's behind this MIDI inserts, but there you find this normal uh, um, Arpeggio and Arpeggio X beat designer, which is quite good, but where is this pattern sequencer? <laughs> program uh, unique beats immediately, uh, nothing immediately here. So I have to find out and you will uh, have to expect, uh, check your manual, manual, read your manual. So if normal inserts, um, uh, let me see if Steinberg, has, if there's a pattern sequencer in here, 
on the tools and be converted? No, I don't find it and I don't want to bother you with that. Um, all in all, it's just a little side and you understand the download is really fast. It's working uh, with all your plugins. If it's VST3, VST2 might not work. There are some people complaining, <laughs> but we all know VST2 is dead in a way, yes. And um, all these inserts I already had, even some very strange ones, uh, are like uh, this uh, Vortex Audio Brewers uh, or uh, Baby Audio stuff and Crystalline, which is very nice, uh, is really working. Um, all the ARA plugins I have here, especially, of course, Wavelab and uh, Spectral, uh, and also Melodon is working right out of the box, and it's very stable. Uh, I did this for half an hour now here, very stable. But uh, then you have to really to read the manual and you have to understand this is not Cubase 14. If you're doing music and here and there a little bit video, of video stuff, then Cubase 14 is enough for you. It's even overkill because many of the features that this stuff, stuff got here uh, are also in Cubase 14. But uh, at that moment you want to go professional uh, for uh, synchronizing a voice over to videos and um, do all these things with ADR, <clears throat> or especially in, in uh, sound design for gaming with this bridge to WIs, uh, which is, I think, I don't know if there's something else on the market that has this potential as that new endo has. So this is a more a super pro tool with a special emphasis on broadcasting and video editing, especially now 8K, uh, which I, by the way, didn't find, uh, if, if I wanted to export uh, 8K, uh, I didn't find anything here, yes. Uh, so um, that that was one thing, uh, go in there. Where are the 8K? It's MPVH264 here, yes. I can add timecode. You can do a lot with timecode and you can work with Marcus when you do this voice over and use AI for it, for it uh, to extract what the people are saying there into text and read the text and the text uh, applies to the Marcus. All this stuff is really worth to invest in uh, if you are a pro or even hobbyist who wants to do perfect synchronization for videos or video stuff. Uh, the only thing that I always thought, this is not a video editing uh, thing, you have to import your video uh, and all the cuts and, and uh, in the end, if, if they one day they add uh, uh, several video tracks and you can cut the videos here and uh, time code wise and whatever, and then this is a monster, but it's a monster already. You see, this is new to me. Some things I didn't find, others I will find, and the rest is, uh, yeah, if, if I would do only music, I would do it right away here, but for the special things, you really have to get into it and um, check your manuals. So uh, I think it's worth it uh, under the circumstances I just mentioned, and in the end, you have to decide for yourself. But thank you, Steinberg. I'm with Steinberg 24, Atari times 80s, since the very beginnings, and we've come a long way. And this, wh where will this end one day? I always think, well, does it make sense to do no new features? But this are new features, and it's surround, and uh, has all these formats uh, for, for surround also. Uh, so incredible what you can do but in the end you have to be creative the machine will do everything for you but you don't if you don't have anything in your brain or no creativity it's worth nothing yeah but we all know this thank you see you next time